Um, I don't know why I said that like I'm Batman in 1989. Hello. Oh, well, anyways, welcome to another edition of Sports Car ASMR. I am the very weird sports car doctor. And uh, this is our series, Crinkle and Rip. It's a straight to the point. We crinkle some cards and then we rip the pack. We break the pack. Could be some baseball, football, hockey, some Winston-Salem race card pack. We have that. Could be a lot of things. Last time I had was Hanna-Barbera football cards. It's our short series here, and we want to invite you to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss our other episodes that we have on Sundays and Wednesdays with the Price Guide episodes. And this fun little supplemental series to get your weekend started in a relaxed way. We're actually going to do two packs of cards this time. You're going to have two sets of crinkles and two sets of rips. We're going to do a big and small episode here. We got these uh, tops cards, first series big baseball cards, average uh, bigger than your average uh, cards there. Good for them. Lucky. Not not every man gets that. And then we got these uh, 1990 Major League Leaders super glossy baseball cards. 35 cent pack, eight in there as well. So, um, seven in here, eight in here, that's 15, that's like one pack. So, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go big first, then small. I'll say this, it's a little hard, they're so tightly wound, hard to crinkle. I almost think we need to open up the pack just to get a little crinkling going. mustache that made me remember it. Interesting design. That's right, the big face little outline there like they're doing a thumbnail on YouTube in uh, 2024. And a uh, relatively good photo for tops there. Interesting, Rich Renteria. Brett Butler, all right. Look at that. Steve Psycho Lions. Paul O'Neill, my man, my Yankee, my young, young Paul O'Neill there. Oh, a Tino Martinez Olympic card. Look at that. I think we're going to be holding on to this card here. And a less striker. A little less impressive, but less is more in this case. And Rich Goodman. God, I totally remember this card. What was, what was fascinating as I look back on these cards? This is the early 90s, so tops needed to step up their game. Score, upper deck, Donruss, Flair were already considered a little better. Uh, tops had always gone for the cheap print, right? They had the Tops Tiffany series, but then they were like, well, what if instead of uh, making the Tops Tiffany series our special cards, we just made those our cards and improved our quality? Then 
he's done in releasing things like this but, uh, to make you, you know, first series. Got to get a hold of big baseball cards there. And, um, and, and I remember pulling a Rich Gedman and going, this ain't that, Chief. This ain't it. Uh, so good try on tops, but a lot going on in the back of the cards there. You got some uh, information of the players, their major league batting record there, uh, fielding percentage, because we all love fielding percentage stats. Um, but, hey, can't complain. Discuss yourself with Tino Martinez. Young Paul O'Neill. Steve Lyons with his pants on and his mullet showing. Just ruin that card. Butler, and then, you know, Richard and Torriette, because the Mariners were on the rise. All right, 89 these came out, 89. Yeah, fascinating. Busy backs, very busy backs. Constantino Martinez, that's why we loved him in New York. That's that, and then we're gonna, let's see. Will this even work? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Hold on here. Can we preserve Christina Martinez? No, nope. doesn't fit. Dear God, he's the greatest pitcher in Major League Baseball history. 
to do that with that team, Carney Lansford, uh, number two in batting average, number five in on-base percentage, good for him. Mark Davis, again, Cy Young Award winner in 1989 in the National League, number one in saves. They were just so over, overcome by that, they gave him the award. Four and three, 44 saves, a 1.85 ERA. Um, think, or 95, maybe, boy. the eyes fail me, my, my 1989 eyes are not on me now, appeared in 70 games, and that's enough to get you a Cy Young Award, we got Greg Maddox, look at this, number two in victories with 19, little young Greg Maddox, also had 12 losses that season, but a 2.95 ERA in 1989, Brett Butler here again, uh, Number four, tied in runs nationally. You'd end up with the the Dodgers, of course, there. Tim Burke, tied for fourth in saves at 28, helping your fantasy baseball team out. And so the Bulldog, number two in ERA in 1989. His 89 season, uh, he went 15 and 15, 2.31 ERA. It's, uh, of course, viewed less, uh, you know, favorably or historically uh, in terms of... Uh, when compared to his 1988 season is what I'm trying to say, but he was still one of the best in the biz. Don't uh, overlook the Bulldog, and then uh, Dave Stewart, like we said. Well, that's an interesting set of little cards there. Not a bad set. I'll try to hold on to these cards, but uh, too small. Too small to hold on. Well, that's what we do here at Crinkle and Rip. It's a short form series. I should say short uh, in terms of time. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it. Like this video, comment on it, tell YouTube that these Friday videos are A-OK. -okay. YouTube needs to know that, OK? And I'll see you next time here on Crinkle.